In this video, let us learn about the flexi bone support added in modern rigging. Let us animate this elephant using the flexi bone along with the hard and soft bones available in modern rigging. Select the asset warp tool in the toolbar in order to rig an object and choose the flexi bone option available under the tool tab of the properties panel. First, let's create the basic spine for this elephant using hard bones. To do that, click over the desired portion of the elephant to create the first joint. Once the first joint is created, you can straight away click on the next desired portion of the elephant to create the next joint to create a bone between the two joints. As you can see, the hard bone is created between the two joints. Let's create a soft bone for the legs, which we will use to animate its movements in the later part of this video. Now, let's create a flexi bone on the trunk of this elephant, which will give us the control over the direction and deformation of the trunk. To create the flexi bone from the existing joint, just click on the joint to make it active, then straight away click on the desired portion of the trunk to create a flexi bone between the two points. Let's create one more joint at the base of the trunk. As you can see, the flexi bone has the bezier handles branching out from either side of the joints like for any other bezier curves. So we can start changing the curvature of the bone using the bezier handles to achieve the desired pose. So now that we know how to deform the object using bezier handles, let's create keyframes and set poses for this elephant. Let's create a keyframe at frame number 20 and move the joint to deform the warped object. Now, let's deform using the bezier handles. As you can see, the bezier handles help to control the direction on how the bone bends. We can also move the individual joint after double-clicking it in order to not affect his child joint. In this pose, let's make this elephant raise from its position. Also, let us move the elephant's leg using the already created soft bones. When there are two bezier handles coming out of a joint, it changes the curvature proportionately on both the sides of the joint when deformed. So, in order to control it individually, you can hold Alt key in Windows or Option key in Mac to achieve the same. As you can see, the flexi bone works well with hard and soft bone types in the same object. Now, let's create keyframes and set different poses for the elephant. And now, let's make this elephant play with the ball using its trunk. Let's keyframe this ball and position it. Now that our poses for the elephant and the ball is ready, let's create classic tween to smoothly animate between the poses. Let's publish our work to see how our final animation looks. Now that we have animated the elephant and the ball, let's also try to animate its tail. Just deselect by clicking outside of the object if there is any active joint, then click on the top and bottom portion of the tail to create a flexi bone between them. This way, we can create an individual flexi bone structure for the tail alone. Once the flexi bone is created, the same is propagated to the rest of the keyframes automatically as long as the Propagate Change option is turned on in the Properties panel. Now, let's set poses for the tail in different keyframes. The Flexi Bone also supports reshaping. You can do that by holding the Shift key and dragging the bone directly to reshape it like we do it for any other raw shape. We have now set the desired poses for the tail. Let us publish and see the final outcome. Hope you have enjoyed the process of creating a playful elephant using the new modern rigging techniques with the help of the hard, soft, and flexi bone types. Please play around and share your animations using the hashtag, hashtag made with animate. Thank you.